Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Neat Biology Expert. I am Dr. Parveen. In this lecture series, we are studying the plus two first unit reproduction in organisms. In this particular lesson, we are going to cover the topic parthenogenesis. This will be our end lesson in the first chapter. Let us see what is parthenogenesis. In Greek language, parthenogenesis means, parthenos means virgin, virgin. Genesis means production or creation. So this is a Greek word. Parthenogenesis. That means virgin reproduction is called parthenogenesis. Normally just recall this sexual method of reproduction. What happens in the sexual method of reproduction? There will be usually two gametes. One will be a male gamete and another will be a female gamete. So what's a gamete? Gamete is the reproducing cell of an organism. Right. So there will be a female gamete and it will unite with a male gamete. This process is called fertilization. Because of this union, zygotes will be formed. Okay, zygote will be formed. So this is called fertilization. So this happens usually in sexual method of reproduction. But in parthenogenesis, what happens? Instead of this female gamete fusing with the male gamete, this fusion will not occur. Then just the female gamete develops into an embryo. So this method of reproduction is called parthenogenesis. So parthenogenesis is a natural form of asexual reproduction. It's a asexual method of reproduction. Okay. So in which the organism grow and develops into embryo without fertilization. This is important. There is no union of male and female gamete. No fertilization occurs in parthenogenesis. So let's see what is the exact definition for the word parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis means it is the development of an egg. What is developing here? Egg, no sperm. Okay, so egg is developing into an complete individual without fertilization. That means without the involvement of the sperm. So look here. Here the egg is developed into embryo. Egg is developed into embryo without fertilization. No fertilization occurs in this process. So this is called parthenogenesis. This was first discovered by Charles Bonnet in 1745. So he is Charles Bonnet. He discovered this parthenogenesis in the small bug aphids. Aphids is a small bug. Okay. So in this organism, he first identified this method of reproduction in the year 1745. Okay. So we are going to classify the parthenogenesis into different types. The first two broad classification of parthenogenesis are natural parthenogenesis and artificial parthenogenesis. What is natural parthenogenesis? Natural means naturally, right? So in certain organisms, the parthenogenesis occurs regularly, constantly and naturally in their life cycle. So what do you mean by that? In certain organisms, the in, in its life cycle parthenogenesis is the only method of reproduction they don't have sexual method of reproduction so those type are called natural parthenogenesis okay and what is artificial parthenogenesis in some organisms what we do we induce the unfertilized egg the unfertilized egg that is ovum is induced to develop into a complete individual by physical or chemical stimuli. So what we are doing, man is making this parthenogenesis induction. We are giving stimuli, chemical or physical stimuli to those unfertilized egg. Then it develops into an individual organism. So this type is called artificial parthenogenesis. Okay. Here, this part, natural parthenogenesis again we classify into three categories. That is called complete parthenogenesis, incomplete parthenogenesis and pediogenetic parthenogenesis. Let's see what are all these types. The first one complete parthenogenesis. So by the word itself you could understand this process is complete. That means in some organisms this is the only method of reproduction. They don't have sexual method of reproduction. So in its life cycle only the parthenogenesis is the only way of reproduction. 
तो सच ऑर्गेनिजम डू दिस कंप्लीट पार्थनोजेनेसिस ओके सो वॉट इज कंप्लीट पार्थनोजेनेसिस इट इज द वनली फॉर्म ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन सर्टन एनिमल्स देर इज नो बाय पेरेंटल सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वाई दे डू दिस कंप्लीट पार्थनोजेनेसिस बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव मेल काउंटर पार्ट सो ओनली फीमेल आर देर इन देर जनरेशन सो दो दोज फीमेल्स दे वॉन्ट टू डेवलप इट्स पॉपुलेशन सो दे डस दिस artificial sorry complete parthenogenesis okay so here see these are no male organisms no males are there in this species so there is no sexual phase there is no male so there is no sexual phase so only females are there they are called self reproducing organisms these organisms are called self reproducing organisms so only female they exhibit this method this is called complete parthenogenesis example flat forms leeches aphids rotifers so this is leech and this is rotifer so these small organisms they exhibit this complete parthenogenesis the second type is incomplete or partial parthenogenesis so incomplete means uh, half half that means these organism they have sexual method of reproduction in some time they exhibit this parthenogenetic method of reproduction so both are there sexual and parthenogenetic method of reproduction so those are called incomplete or partial parthenogenesis okay see here this is found in some animals and insects life cycles life cycle of some insects they do this method of reproduction so both here both is important both sexual and parthenogenesis are this example for this is mayfly what is mayfly this insect is mayfly okay so look at this picture this brown color is female mayfly so this female fly they unite with the male fly fly and they produce both male and female this is through normal sexual reproduction through normal sexual reproduction okay the same may flies in some situations they do this parthenogenesis that means this brown color is the female fly i told you okay so this female fly they produce only female flies by parthenogenesis look here when they male and the female unite this is sexual reproduction during sexual reproduction the fly could be either a female or a male but when these organism exhibit parthenogenesis they produce only female flies okay so like this so why they do this parthenogenesis because when the viable males are absent from the habitat what is habitat habitat means living environment so during some uh, maybe during some particular season like this what happens the males get exempt or get vanished okay only females are available so in those period also they want to reproduce in such occasions when males are not available when they are not viable so this female they do this parthenogenesis method of reproduction a second famous example for this parthenogenesis uh, impartial parthenogenesis is honey bee so what honey bee does see honey bee does two type of reproduction so look here the first one this is the queen bee the queen bee usually do reproduction okay so if the queen bee produce its egg normal egg okay so they unite with this male honey bee the male produces the sperm cells so they unite that means what happens here fertilization occurs in this fertilization what happens a zygote is formed the zygote develops into either a worker bee or into a queen bee understand so this is a normal sexual reproduction this is sexual reproduction which is carried out by queen bee in some cases in some occasions this queen bee do not do fertilization with the male only the queen bee they produces the eggs and the egg undergo parthenogenesis without fertilization no fertilization okay so in such cases whichever bees produce they are all drone drone means male male bees okay 
so like this honeybee is a very famous example for this partial parthenogenesis they exhibit two methods of reproduction in sexual method of reproduction when they do sexual method of reproduction queen bee and worker bees are produced when they do parthenogenesis drones are produced what are drones drones are the male population in the honey bees okay these are the male population so like this honey bee is a very good example for this type of parthenogenesis so this natural parthenogenesis we again divide into three types depending upon which organisms are produced by this parthenogenesis okay so what are those three types this is called arenotoki arenotoki helitoki amphitoki arenotoki means here because of the parthenogenesis only males are produced we have seen no in any bee what happens the queen bee they are doing parthenogenesis when they do parthenogenesis only males are produced they are called drones right so this type of parthenogenesis is called arenotoki okay so out of this parthenogenesis only male generation is produced the second type is thelitoki here out of parthenogenesis only females are produced this is called thelitoki example is solinobia mayfly we have seen mayfly no so what happened the mayfly because of the parthenogenesis they produce only the female flies okay so these small insects they are example for thelitoki and the third category is amphitoki amphi means two both both okay so in this type the egg may develop into individuals of any sex that means during parthenogenesis maybe any type maybe it would, it could be a male or could be a female so any type could be produced that is called amphitoki example is aphis this is a small bug they exhibit this amphitoki method of parthenogenesis clear yeah? the third type of parthenogenesis is called pedogenetic parthenogenesis this is also called pedogenesis so what do you mean by pedo we say the word pediatric like this no pediatric means young ones okay small children or young ones pediatrics pedo so what happens in this type of parthenogenesis here see in the previous one the adult female only doing parthenogenesis they only uh, execute parthenogenesis here in pedo parthenogenesis not the adult the larva the larva itself produces another larva that is called pedogenetic parthenogenesis okay so here the larva produces a new generation of larva by parthenogenesis that is called pedogenetic you should remember the word larva the larva produces new generation of larva here no adult is involved okay so example such thing occurs in sporocyst and liver fluke this worm radia larva this is the larva of this worm and gall fly this is a small insect this one is gall fly look at this this is an adult insect and these are the larva they produces another larva okay so such peculiar thing occurs in pedogenetic parthenogenesis and the second broad classification of parthenogenesis is artificial parthenogenesis so what happens here here the unfertilized egg or the ovum is induced man is inducing that means artificially the egg unfertilized egg is induced okay so develop into a complete individual by physical or chemical stimulus so we are giving some physical stimuli or some chemical stimuli to induce the egg to Uh, produce the individual so this method is called artificial parthenogenesis example for this are annelids sea urchin eggs okay this one is annelid and this one is sea urchin so like this some organism we could do artificial parthenogenesis understand okay so let us see how we do this artificial parthenogenesis it could be by physical method i told you know so how physical method means first one by applying temperature so if an egg is transferred from minus 30 degree to minus 10 degree then the parthenogenesis get induced okay so like this we could induce using temperature or uv light or by mild electrical shock or sometimes when an egg is pricked by a needle then the development starts okay so if this is an egg just 
you have to prick it by a needle what happens it get induced and parthenogenesis develops okay so these are some physical methods of artificial parthenogenesis induction and the second one is by chemical methods we use different types of chemicals to induce this one like solvents acids chlorides chloroform urea sucrose strychnine like this many chemicals are there to induce artificially parthenogenesis in this animals okay right so let us see what are the advantages or significance of parthenogenesis the most important thing is parthenogenesis is the simple most stable and easy method of reproduction see this parthenogenesis mostly they occur in only small organisms very uh, small larva or a uh, very small bugs insects like this type of organisms these organisms their life cycle itself is very short some flies their life cycle is even uh, one week uh, just one day also is there in some flies so within that one day it has to complete its life cycle includes reproduction also so in such cases the organisms they exhibit this parthenogenetic method of reproduction okay so even only female is there means they could able to produce their offspring without fertilization so this is a very rapid method of reproduction in organisms these are the important points okay and here you could say there is no sterile races sterile means everybody is fertile here only female could able to produce organism right without a sexual method of reproduction so there is no sterility all the organisms by which execute parthenogenesis are fertile okay and this helps in determining the sex of an individual for example in the case of honey bees and wasp what happens if it occurs by sexual method of reproduction the organism would be either queen bee or a worker bee if it executes a parthenogenesis the organisms will be drones so like this we could determine the sex of an individual by parthenogenesis okay and it supports the chromosomal theory of inheritance and there is no variations in the population and like this some are the advantages of parthenogenesis and what are the disadvantages the organism produced by parthenogenesis cannot survive for long period of time because there is no recombination genetic recombination occur okay so they their life cycle or the life itself is very short and we could not um, expect any evolution in this organism okay so parthenogenetic organism do not play a major role in the organic evolution so these are the disadvantages of this method of reproduction okay so see this parthenogenesis is a very simple topic you have to remember just a few points what is parthenogenesis what are the types of parthenogenesis natural and artificial and what are the natural parthenogenesis complete incomplete and pediogenetic okay so like this how we induce the artificial method by physical or chemical means like this okay so other than this it's very uh, less important for the exam point of view also okay only few points you should remember right so i hope you understand this lecture if you like this lecture please don't forget to subscribe to our channel need biology expert meet you in another lecture till then take care thank you